Hey everyone, this is Brenda with Crochet Cats and More. It's I'm glad to be back here on YouTube and I will explain why I have not been on here as frequently. Uh, I am a little depressed and when I'm like that, I don't like to talk too much, but I vowed that I was gonna do it today. So, uh, forgive me if I stumble around and uh, don't portray myself like I normally do. Anyway, uh, and I'm also trying out my camera on a tripod, so I guess it's kind of why it looks like I'm looking up. But I'll try to make this short and sweet. And so another thing I wanted to explain, which it doesn't look like it on here, but if you ever see me with a real red face, uh, that just comes on. It's red right now. But I put on some uh, makeup that's almost white. And the red's still kind of coming through. But I'm not blushing. My face just does that. And then I got these scratch right here from Zane, my cat, this morning. Every morning about 4.30, between 4.30 and 5.30, he's doing this to me, trying to wake me up. Well, if, if I don't get up and let him out, then he'll, then he, this time he put his claw out. But I normally wake up, but I was in a heavy sleep this morning. But anyway, it got me there, and a few little bitty ones right in here. So I was not happy with him this morning. And then I got a big old zit right there on my nose. Isn't that wonderful? So before anybody could say, gosh, look at that pimple, I'm going to point it out. <laughs> anyway. Another thing I wanted to explain, I was watching some of the videos where my husband takes a uh, river for a walk and he talks with a whisper. And I know a lot of people are probably saying, what's wrong with his voice? Or, well, he must have laryngitis or he has a bad cold. He gets that a lot. And uh, what it is, is when he was a teenager, he was on a, I believe it was a motorized dirt bike, but if not, maybe just a regular dirt bike. But anyway, he went over a really high ramp and um, he made it the first time. Well, his buddies dared him to do it a second time. And he kind of really didn't want to do it because that was hard the first time. But they kept agging him on, so of course he did it. And when he did, he landed on his handlebars, his neck. And uh, he had, uh, well, I think he's on a ventilator actually for a while, but they had to put a feeding tube in. And uh, so, cause he was unable to speak or, or anything for a while. So that's the way he talks. That's a permanent voice. I'm so used to it, I forget to explain it. So that's why. Okay, so now I'll get to why I'm on here. I'm just, these are whips I've shown you before, but I'm still working on it. I don't have my crochet going. I'm getting slow at this, so. But this is my son, Liam. He just turned nine years old, he had a birthday. And he wanted a tiger blanket. His school uh, is called Central Tigers and their t a tiger is their mascot. So he wanted a tiger blanket. So these are their school colors. I'm trying to make it look like tiger waves on a, on a tiger. And I'm using um, the pattern for, you know, the waves on a, what do they call them waves? I'm using that pattern on there where it's just three double crochets and then you do two uh, increase 
uh, cro double crochets, and then you do three double crochets, and then you do two decrease uh, double crochets. That's all there is to it. It's real easy. No reason for me not to just whip through it, except that I have it. So, that's that. Now, I haven't worked on this one in a long time. And Romero, uh, Adele Romero told me about these Ziploc bags. Look how big they are. They're called Ziploc Big Bags. What is they? Big Bags Grand Sacks. Extra Large. And see, you can see through them, you can see what's in there. It's got a label if you want to label it. I, I'm so glad she told me about this. So, and I ordered them on Amazon. But this I got off a of Creative Grandma. And it's going to be a blanket for my baby girl, a grandbaby girl. <sighs> Aren't those pretty colors? And I'm using this ice yarns puzzle baby. And it's a fine yarn. It's a number three. And oh, it almost came to me what the pattern was. Wonder if I have it here. No, that's a mosaic. That's my. No, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't have the pattern. Next time I show it, I'll have that pattern available because I don't want you sitting here waiting on me to find it. I know I got it somewhere. Oh, I got it written in that book. But I would still have to look. So anyway, get you these Ziploc bags. They are really nice. Put that down here. And then as far as my tunic goes, it's called Lunar Tunic. Here it is. This is my second panel. I gotta make two more. I got one more row to make on this one. And I'm using Date Nights Yarn. I absolutely love this yarn. It's by Lion Brand. And it's called, in the color, it's called Umbalite. U-M-B-A-L-I-T-E. Umbalite. It's a number four, but it feels like a number three to me, a big three. And it was good because the pattern called for a three, a two or a three. So, I'm, I have been doing pretty good with that, actually. So, put that up. And then, I'm working still on my, uh, where do I have a finished product? I don't have a finished one to show you. But anyway, this is this is where I'm at right now. And then after this comes a darker yellow, more like a gold yellow. And this is um, this is called what did I just do with that one? There it is. This is called Mosaic Granny Square. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and I love yellow, so I did mine in yellow. And it's by Creative Grandma. Anyway, when I, next, I'll, when I get 
all of these done, I've got a bunch of them, this whole bag full of these that I'm going to put the yellow on. Oops, that way. And then when I'm done with all of them with yellow, then I'll put the gold on. And then I'll hopefully be finished. If I need more, I'll make more. So that's that. And then I think that's it. I did that one. I did the tiger. I did the tunic and the mosaic. Well, I, I went through those pretty quick, didn't I? I think that's it, guys. Um, pray for me that I get over this depression. Uh, we're messing around with my medication, so. Uh, I'm sorry, like I said, I haven't gotten on sooner, and I think I've lost some subscribers due to that. I was up at 240, and then it went down to 237, but I'm back up to 239 now. I don't know if people just unsubscribe, or if there's a, a jinx going on with it. I hear a lot of people say that, that they'll lose some subscribers. I don't know what the deal is with that. I hope I'm not losing it because they're sick of me. <laughs> but, uh, and I want to do another giveaway at 250, but I'm crawling like a snail to get there. So if y'all could help me with that, I appreciate it. You just share this if you don't mind and um, like it for sure and subscribe if you're new, please. If you like it, if you don't, just move on. I, I don't. It will hurt my feelings. I understand. I also uh, do a lot of videos about, I have an Eurasian Lynx cat, bobcat, and then I have a regular North American bobcat, a girl. Her name's Journey, and the Eurasian Lynx bobcat, he's a boy, and his name is River. I do uh, videos on them, too, because they just light up my life. Uh, between my husband and them, of course, uh, God, my Lord and Savior, uh, he's, he's everything to me. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I love you guys from my heart to yours. Mm -hmm. Bye.